good morning students uh, today we are going to explain exercise 7.3 question number one it is you see here there is a series of proof given and what is given a triangle a b c and a triangle b d c these two triangles are isosceles triangle isosceles triangle means what two sides are equal so in triangle a b c a b goes to a c and in triangle b d c b d goes to c d it is given us and with the help of this information we are going to prove this four proof okay first of all we have to prove that in triangle a b d and in triangle a c d these two triangles are congruent so you see how to prove in triangle a b d and in triangle a c d a b goes to a c given and b d goes to c d also given a d a d is the common side uh, you see here a d is the common side this side equals to this side a b goes to a c b d goes to c d and a d is the common side <coughs> therefore these two triangles are uh, congruent with the help of side 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 so after proving these two triangles are congruent we have proved that this angle goes to this angle with the help of cpct b a d equals to c a d we had uh, we have written b a d equals to c a d with the help of c a d uh, so, sorry cpct and you just to see b a d means what b a p and c a p also can write in place of d if we write p the same angle it denotes so we have written and we have name given as a now in triangle next we are going to prove that these two triangles are similar that is a b p and a c p just here you see uh, a b goes to a c you can get a p is the common side and just now we have proved that this angle goes to this angle that is b a p equals to c a p so in that way we can prove that side angle side so here you have written a b equals to a c given then b a p equals to c a p from a and a p is the common side therefore these two triangles are uh, congruent with the help of side angle side uh, congruency and hence b p equals to c p hence b p equals to c p we have proved with the help of CPCT because it is a series of I already I have told you it is a series of proof so whenever you will prove the uh, second one we have to take the help of the first one ok so from this we are getting this conclusion these two sides are uh, congruent now it comes to number 3 here uh, number 3 what is given that we have to prove that AP bisect angle A as well as angle D now already you have proved that this angle BAP that means this part is equals to this part that means from and we have given name as A from here only can prove that since these two angles are equal therefore AP bisect angle A now here you see here we have written this that from A we have getting BAP equals to CAP therefore AP bisect angle A now we are going to prove that AP bisect angle D also D also so if for that we have to prove that B D P is equals to C D P now how will prove it um, by proving these two triangles are congruent that is B D P and C D P now you see we are um, I'm just explaining you with the help of diagram then I will show you how to write B P already we have we are getting that B D equals to C D it is given us D P is the common side and just now we have um, from 2 and we have given name as B B P equals to P C here you see bp goes to C, uh, cp already uh, proved here with the help of uh, cpct and we are taking these three condition you see here we have written bd goes to cd bp goes to cp and dp goes to dp common side therefore these two triangles are congruent with the help of uh, side 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 so hence we can write therefore with the help of cpct this angle equals to this angle okay and these two angles are equal only when ap bisect angle d so we can write therefore hence uh, ap bisect angle d because these two angles are equal now <coughs> again <coughs> from these two triangles we can prove that uh, with the help of cpct bpd is equals to cpd and bpd these two angles are equal with the help of cpct because these two triangles are congruent now bpd in place of bpd you can write bpa and in place of cpd with uh, cpd you can write cpa so we have named we have changed the name here and given name as c now we are coming to the next proof that is number four ap is a bisector of bc already we have proved that bp equals to pc that means ap bisect bc now we are going to prove that this bisector is a perpendicular also uh, so already 
just now we have proved that these two angles are equal but this you see this type our angles are called what linear pair because sum of these two angles equals to 180 degree so we have um, these two are equal and the sum of these two but the sum of these two equals to 180 degree that means each of them equals to 90 degree so in that way here you see we have written here uh, but these two equals to 180 degree because they are linear pair therefore uh, each of them equals to 90 degree so and give names as d uh, so from b and d we conclude that a p is the bisector of b c so proved so in that way we have proved this question number one so it takes two much time